Hello, fam, and thank you for coming back home. Home, that is. Deb Chanel's Four Days World. Yes, but we get down at a family affair. We get down, we talk with each other about different subject matters that I put out on my channel. And we just let have. We just let have. We just let have. But we got another salacious story. Yes, by Celebrity Insider. And we talk about Candy Burris and her husband, Todd Tucker. Yes, honey. Let me see who put it out. Let me see who put it out. Oh, the journalist was Ron Collins. Collins. He's over there as a correspondent, journalist, whatever you want to call his claim to fame. Over there at Celebrity Insider. Bringing us an article titled called Candy Burris and Todd Tucker are spreading power couple vibes. Now, I don't know what vibe they trying to show us or tell us because Candy making moves out there. And how she allegedly tell us her money, her money, the money they make together, that's they that's them together and they can decide collectively what they want to do with their money together. But lately I haven't been hearing anything. I still ain't heard about what Todd doing with that trucking company he started with that one truck that's supposed to be towing everything um uh, besides the child of God, you know? I'm like, what? what's going on, Todd? What's going on with that business, okay? And what about them restaurants, that Mexican restaurant you're supposed to got that's featured the OLG, Ole, or however it was said. I don't know. But it's supposed to be a little Mexican-style restaurant for the OLG gang. What's going on with all of that? What other things have you put out there, Todd, that you haven't finished, honey? Because on the next episode or a couple of episodes before the show ends, you and Candy going to get into it about Candy trying to go back and be a little actress. Okay, now we already know Candy can't sing. Candy's a backup singer all day, every day. She can't dance. She can damn write some hit songs, depending on who she sell them to, that make it their own and they just blow up. But, you know, she got her set feet that she write anyway. So, even if she wrote a little diddly and it didn't go nowhere, she still got paid for it. Even if she wrote a little diddly and it went somewhere, she still got paid for it, whatever she had charged at the taking of that song that they wanted to purchase from her. Okay? So... Yeah, Candy is said to be making moves out of him, her and her husband. And I just want to know what them moves are because they ain't really said nothing lately. They have not really said. They done acquired businesses, and especially Todd, he has acquired businesses. But we ain't heard nothing from it. We ain't seen it and, you know, being marketed on TV, on social media, hell on, uh... On commercials that they made have made have may have made like infomercials or whatnot. We ain't seen that either. All thing we seeing is he going over there schmoozing with Clyde Davis in the entertainment business. And we already know how Clyde Davis get down. You remember Whitney Houston? You remember when she died and they just kept her body upstairs in that hotel at the Beverly Hotel in Los Angeles for I don't know how many hours. Okay. When well, they know they should have took that body. Once it was pronounced dead, take it to the morgue, okay? But, you know, they be talking about them rituals and all that pagan type stuff going on. And candy and toss a little sign they sells on up in that web of lies and deception and deceit. I'm just a spectator over here. I'm just telling y'all what I see. That's all. Y'all can either gravitate with me or, you know, go on with your own edification. But that's what I'm giving you here, okay? Take for what it is, just all allegedly. But anyway, we're going to go on into this story. We ain't going to tear it too long. It says Candy Burr shared a photo from an important event where she was present with her hubby, Todd Tucker. She wore a gorgeous blue dress, which totally highlighted the beauty of her best assets. And they talking about her breasts. I tell you, this whole world when it comes to women is just so sex involved just sexism everywhere you can't look at a person's beautiful body and just suggest what it may look like you know what i'm saying uncovered they got to show their tits they behind Ooh, just everything y'all remember lizzo she had her ass cheeks out i mean come on now even if she was a smaller size woman we ain't prince you know what i'm saying only prince came out with that little adage and he showed it very tastefully but i didn't understand why we had to see his little perky cheeks up there on stage either i'm like what the hell is prince doing is he having a midlife crisis but anyway going back to the article it said her massive signature cleavage looked amazing and todd was also keeping up with the most elegant look okay yeah he was looking like he was a little dap daddy down there only thing he needed was a kango and a little uh we'd call it cane Oh, he just needed a little fedora hat. Couldn't tear that nigga up. 
I said that word. I'm sorry. We're going to take it back. You couldn't tell that eagle nothing. Okay. You couldn't tell him nothing. But anyway. Going back to the article, it says Candace said about themselves that they are a power couple, and she shared some pics on social media, which left uh, left fans impressed. And that's the kind of little picture they were talking about. Uh, I don't think I'm seeing the sexism, Candy. Them big ass breasts of yours, and they just sitting out there like you ain't even got them housed in your dress. I mean, come on, do you not have any type of um what do you call it y'all what the word i'm looking for rapport do you have anything that should be left to the imagination could you have a little conservativeness that's all i'm asking Kay. that's all like that that's pretty conservative that you got on there but you know i don't know Kay. i don't know what kind of road you're going through it seems like it's the wide road you're traveling there instead of the narrow and close cut but anyway that's another story that's another video going back to this video in the article it said candy said about themselves that they are a power couple and she shared some pics to impress the fans the fans were impressed one fan even shouted her out and said power couple vibes uh candy captioned her post which includes more pics of the two and um i had the she's in this um like midnight blue type ensemble and uh todd is complimenting complimenting himself with a skinny suit on and his navy blue looking dapper you know like i said uh hush elijah and we got another commenter her friend tiny harris and cynthia bailey hopped in the comments and gushed over the couple's look uh former commenter said uh laughed after seeing the second pic that uh second picture of the uh epiphany of as uh, wait a minute it's so, saying something about a look toy gave somebody it was like he had saw a ghost or he somebody may have said something that he didn't like and he had a very distinctive like i'm gonna i'm you know i'm gonna kick your butt after this photo type of session going on uh, i couldn't find that particular picture but it, we don't need to get taught looking all out of sorts and like he finna go do some do work probably get his ass kicked but you know just because he was just defending his wife you know he got to go down for the cause it's better to get beat up showing honor and respect and trying to protect your lady than uh walking away and letting her get punched up and stuff like that okay but um going back to the article it said another commenter said uh, I love y'all, but Todd Crazy Eyes in that second picture had me weak. And another fan posted this. Candy so pretty. Love the dress. Very unique looking. Another commenter said, uh, Todd looking like, what you looking at, buddy? This all me right here. Candy reaching back for his hand. But Todd got a, a hand full of candy yams and my Kenya's voice. I'm a follower. Wrote, really nice looking sharp couple. Y'all always be on point. Another commenter said, who was Todd getting ready to either curse out or beat up, giving them the side eye. Uh, another fan said, uh, last, that there's no tomorrow after seeing the second pick. When someone yells, damn, Candy, you fine with your husband right there, laughing, you know, my butt off Todd's face in the second pick. Okay, and then it just goes on to say, just the other day, Candy made fans excited when she announced to them that she just sat down with Kenya Moore to discuss Real Housewives of Atlanta series. And I also did a video on, on that as well. Go and check it out in my archives, and you will find it quite entertaining. Uh, but yeah, that was it. Candy was expressing that her and Todd, you know, when they get dressed up and looking all fly, uh, for, you know, like they say, camera ready. Uh, they stepping out looking nice and like I said they went to a function that Clyde Davis um, had got together and I guess she was on the who's who's list and they went on went over there and partake of that type of atmosphere that type of environment you know what I'm saying I'm like is it a masquerade party going on is it a masquerade party going on okay and you got to get invited to uh, Clyde Davis's party. You just don't come up there thinking you're going to show up and show out. Uh, no, 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 no. No, because they be playing games and all kinds of stuff at his things I hear. Okay, allegedly. And they ain't kosher. Let me tell you that they ain't kosher. But anyway, that's all I had, guys, on this particular video. On Candy saying her and her husband are a power couple. Watch them roar. Take notice of them. Because you're going to be seeing a lot of them in social media come 2020. So we're here for it. What you're bringing us. What you're giving us to look at. What you're doing, Candy. Because right now, like I said, we see you making moves. But 
Todd is just your uh, handler or he's your bodyguard or uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm still waiting on to see what Todd is going to be sending out for us to partake of. You know, T.T. Todd Tucker Productions, you know, uh, his little uh, one man show with the um, the truck he just picked up. Like he's doing some long hauls and this, that and third and. His old LG Mexican restaurant. And I'm sure you're going to give me other stuff to add on to his list of things he have yet to finish. But that's another story. That's another whole video. But guys, y'all um, get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about Candace saying her and her husband are power couples. They doing the whole thing. I'm like, y'all are far cry from what Beyonce and Jay-Z doing. And that's a power couple in the entertainment uh, business. Or Denzel and his wife and... um. Let me see who else I can talk about. Well, I just don't come to <laughs> it just don't come to my mind no more, y'all. I'm getting tired too. This might be my last video for tonight. But anyway, uh yeah, a power couple that's doing a darn thing out there. You know, the person I can really find relevant and of relevancy at this point is Jay Z and um what do you call it? Beyonce. Yeah, and I'm like, y'all are far cry from what they're doing out there, Candy. You know, she does have sell out arenas uh concerts people come to see her and jay-z even if when, when they do things separately but um uh, I, I don't i'm still trying to figure out what you and todd are doing but it's not my business i'm just speculating i'm over here in the bushes uh up on top of the roofs just checking y'all out seeing where y'all going seeing what i can talk about what y'all doing this kind of thing you know but i ain't up in y'all trash trying to figure out what y'all ate and you know did y'all throw some important bills away that i can report on no i'm not the paparazzi so i don't do that kind of stuff but anyway y'all be blessed i will see y'all next video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel and definitely share and like my videos guys all right peace out bye bye be breezy